Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the SR Products number uh, one or G165 ETL. This is a fusible link. Um, you can't really see the impro the um, uh, embossment on the cardboard. I'm sorry. This is a fusible link. However, it's a smart fusible link. Uh, what's happening here is it will act as a standard fusible link, a mechanical, regular fusible link uh, between these two uh, leaves, load range between 2 and 40 pounds, and is a 165 degree activation point. This will also uh, begin an irreversible chemical reaction uh, based on receiving at least 0.2 amp, I think, I'll check it, for at least um, so many milliseconds, uh, 50 millisecond, that will then separate these. So this can act as a fusible link and all of those things that would require a 130, 165 degree activation point for a fusible link, doors, dampers, um, roof hatches, things of that nature. But if you wanted to initiate that upon signal immediately without waiting for at 165 degrees there's probably nobody standing at the opening right so if you wanted to initiate that immediately you can do so with the ETL the G165 ETL let's take some basic dimensional properties and we'll go over the links down below the installation instructions the product catalog and then the extended description overall about three and an eighth overall width overall um, height so to speak one inch some data there fire alarm system replacement part in accordance with NFPA 72 1990 version SR products a um, couple of basic dimensions on the size of the preparation that's here the overall width just to know is 0 .496, 0 0.496 by point 492. I would then tell you that the dimension between here is 1.58, so basically 2.38 center to center is what would be center to center. Let's check that just reasonably. Okay, so about two and a quarter, um, more accurately, let me double check my dimensions. It was about a half inch wide, so we're going to add a half inch to get to the center. Oh yeah, f I'm sorry, 1.58, so we're going to be about 2.08, 2.1, right in that range. Now, let's take a look at the extended description information. Multi-purpose, dual responsive, fusible link release device designated to substantially improve life safety and minimize property damage because you can initiate upon receipt of an electrical uh, charge. It creates an instantaneous fusible link response and separation in the event of a fire. The ETL has a protruding cylinder to house the heating element and attachment wires and to provide a means to attach a standard EMT conduit connection adapter. Overall of that about an inch and a quarter. Let's take that ID, oh, pardon me, the OD of the protruding, protruding cylinder. 0 .69, 0.69 has the lot number on there as well. Now, taking a look at the data sheet, um, it's going to give you a great overview. The page two, you can review that. I'm going to look at the installation instructions and review that. Uh, page three, uh, designed to substantially improve uh, life safety and minimize property damage by allowing that to operate immediately upon receipt of a signal. The specifications are on page four, and that's the important stuff, actually. Um, 40 pound maximum continuous with a two pound minimum uh, continuous tensile strength rating 
at standard temperature. The In order to initiate the heating element, you'll need a 200 milliamp or a 0.2 amp. That would be at, for a minimum of 50 milliseconds duration, within a voltage range between 6 and 30 VAC or VDC. So, um, you know, lots of things are going to be able to send that sort of a signal. The rest on page uh, 4 are the... Inst are the uh, dimensional description of the item. Then there's three pages of installation instructions which are included and the first paragraph uh, talks about what it takes to initiate the device. The electrical characteristics are there. Installation instructions. The ETL is typically in, uh, designed to be mounted on dampers and ductwork. Um, roof hatches, fire doors, and other uses where retrofit or replacement of standard fusible links a 40 pound rating or less is desired, it is typically attached mechanically by placing metal strips or S hooks through the square link halves opening to provide a floating linear force tension of two pound minimum, 40 pound maximum. The ETL has a 40 pound maximum continuous tensile strength end pull at standard temperature, which can only be achieved in installation where the link is subject to equal linear tension. If side or peel forces are encountered, which is typical in most smoke damper installations, the weight may have to be reduced or the tension vector is reestablished. It's got to come from the sides. For this reason, is not, it is not permissible to bolt or fix one end of the ETL in most installations, even if the installation is gravity release, i.e. 40 pounds hanging straight down from the bottom of the link. It is recommended to allow the link to float using S-hooks, straps, or other attachments. So you can continue to read the rest of the installation instructions and see the conduit sort of fitting that they're talking about with that uh, plug that's there as well. Okay, And the I won't go through the rest of the installation instructions. We have certainly talked about the primary top-level category material. I uh, can tell you that there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only the SR products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, which when I last tried it, simply did not work, didn't come up, that may be temporary. Uh, and in fact, I will try it now just for the sake of attempting to do so. SRproducts.com, no, it's not coming up. Um, I may have a, it might, it's obviously probably just a temporary error. Finally, if you have any questions on the SR products, this is their part number G165ETL. Fusible link or any other SR product, please, SR products product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.